The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone today to the Ativo Lunch and Learn series, where today we'll be discussing inventory control techniques using Macola. We've chosen a pretty, a pretty broad topic to discuss today, and there are many aspects contained within this presentation that will actually be the subject of separate presentations, such as inventory costing and pricing and things like that, because we could spend at least an entire hour on any of those topics. Our goal in this presentation is an overview of the capabilities of your system, and we can follow up with more detailed presentations depending on what you would like to learn more about. And at the end of this session, we're going to be asking you for some recommendations as to what you would like to see. I'd like to make this an interactive presentation today, so if you have questions, uh, please feel free to ask them as we go. Um, probably the best way to do that so I don't have to uh, introduce all of the background noise is to use the, uh, the function on the GoToWebinar to raise your hand, um, and then that way I can unmute your um, your your phone and get the question in and if it's something simple that we can do quickly we'll deal with it right there if not we'll we'll uh, defer it to the end um, I'll be making notes as we go and if we don't get to it um, I'll contact you directly about your particular question so please remember to uh, to mute your phone by using star six and unmute using star six as well if you want to speak to um, uh, ask a question so, by way of introduction, I'm, I'm Len Rio, General Manager of Ativo. Many of you uh, uh, already know me, and I'll be the presenter today. Um, as an APEX certified professional, I'm certified in production and inventory management. I've taught many a class on inventory subjects. So this is kind of, uh, kind of fun for me to actually give you this overview uh, survey of, of the Macola functions as it relates to inventory control. I'd like to point out that your success, your company's success, is based on adopting a mindset of continuous improvement and to succeed in our challenging economy. We all know how challenging it's been lately. We must continue to find ways to deliver more value to our customers while continuing to lower our overall costs. If you've read, read the papers, if you've followed uh, what's going on in, in, in manufacturing and distribution in general, the majority of productivity gains over the past two decades have been achieved through technology. And in manufacturing distrib and distribution, that means not only um, technology improvements on the shop floor, automation on, at that level, but significant improvements in our use of information technology. So we're here today to help you advance on that journey. And it is a journey. It's not a destination of continuous improvement through education about your information system. We want you to achieve excellence in the way that you use your systems. Your profitability depends on it. So just so you know, all of these sessions will be recorded. Uh, they'll be made available to you um, online in the Ativo customer portal. If you don't have a login, a personal login to the customer portal, let us know so we can create one for you so that you can review these at your leisure and go back over things and formulate some questions and get back to us on those kinds of things. Each person that we have registered will also receive a copy of this presentation along with the, the notes um, that some of the things that I'm saying that you're, not, that you're not seeing on the slides, we'll send you those via email. We're going to have some regularly scheduled sessions like this, most likely um, either weekly or every other week, and the topics will be largely determined by you. So let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, this is the agenda. I'm going to be covering a uh, uh, couple of boring things first, a little bit about item master and item location setup. We're going to touch on inventory valuation, uh, drill into location control as it relates to warehouses and bin control. The dreaded physical and cycle count is something we'll cover. I want to uh, also talk about traceability uh, as well as shelf life and warranty, uh, and some of the replenishment tools that are readily available in Macola inventory. Um, and then some, some of the reporting that's available for you. I want to make sure that we leave about 10 to 15 minutes for questions and input for next topics. So let's get started with the master. 
first of all, the item master setup um, is where static information regarding an item is stored. There aren't any quantities, costs, or pricing on the item master. Um, so it, this will only be things like the fact that this is a manufactured item, this is the two lines of description, uh, and so on. And as you can see on the right side, there is plenty of um, uh, buttons for access to all of the information. This is one of the improvements that happened between Progression and Macola ES, so we didn't have to jump around to different menu screens. On the second page, the logistics page, um, you'll note that there's unit of measure conversion uh, ratios here. Um, the stocking unit of measure uh, controls the manufacturing unit of measure. This is important to know regarding uh, uh, Macola. The, um, the fact that it has a manufacturing unit of measure uh, needs to be disregarded. This was a, a feature that Macola intended to uh, implement way back in the days of version 7, and um, uh, they never implemented it. I don't know why they never took it off the screen. Notice that at the bottom, um, you can include cube parameters. So if you want to define how an item is stored in your warehouse, um, you can in terms of width, width, length, height, you know, the high tie and the quantity of cases per pallet and so forth. Um, on this screen, it's also identified as to whether or not an item is lotted. And if the item has is lotted or serialized, you can also include a shelf life or warranty days. Notice also this is where the definition of the of how the the lot or serial number is defined if you're going to allow or require a Macola to um, assign that lot or serial number automatically. In the bottom right is where the end item code is. This is for use where an item is either a kit item, um, uh, in other words, a single level bill of material assembled at order entry time, or a feature, feature option item, one that's configured and then manufactured to order. Um, it's identified as one of those two end item codes. And then how you want pricing and costing um, to behave uh, uh, if those are either kits or um, feature option items. The third tab of item master is some static information regarding the purchasing, the, if an item is purchased, um, things like a bill of lading code, a commodity code, country of origin, and whether or not this item is inspected or not. There is far more detail about the purchasing uh, requirements of a particular item on the item location screen that we'll see in a minute. This is where you can also require an approved vendor, by the way. Um, and if so, you would use the item vendor file. Um, and that's going to be covered in a, a discussion uh, regarding um, purchasing at a later date. This last tab is a, for manufactured items, identifying how an item is made, whether it's a manufactured using production order processing, or if it's shop floor control, uh, and also all of the instructions as it relates to how we want MRP to treat it. Um, and that's, again, further discussion on that when we discuss um, MRP. So to kind of recap about item master, versus item location. The item master is, is clearly just static information. Um, and the item that is specific to warehousing is found on the item location or the warehouse record. And that's only on hand, on order, allocated quantities, pricing, reorder levels, and so on. Now the item location itself has a similar kind of tabular arrangement. Uh, there's a basics tab that shows the quantity on hand. You can't adjust these. These are, you know, system controlled. Um, quantities allocated to orders, typically sales orders, or if it's a component allocated to a particular production order. And then quantity on order, uh, orders such as purchase orders, or if it's a sub-assembly production orders or a, or 